Dr. Charles E. Gibson was born Easter morning, 1934, and raised in Southern Illinois. He was raised in the belly of the Depression. His father was a coal miner. They were so poor that they couldn't pay the doctor. Rather than paying the doctor, they named Chuck after the doctor, Charles E. He went to high school in Southern Illinois. He was involved in athletics. But early on, he was stricken with severe psoriasis. He had a list of challenges, both physically and socially. He was the last of six children. His body was covered with scales for a four-year period. Having gone to many medical doctors, he was considered a medical failure. And out of desperation, his mother took him to a chiropractor. And within a very brief period of time, his psoriasis completely disappeared. So at a young age of 16, Chuck committed to becoming a chiropractor to devote his life to it. He entered Palmer at the age of 17 and accelerated his class of studies and graduated at the young age of 19, just a few months before his 20th birthday on June 1955. While in Palmer College, his classmates were several future legendary chiropractors, namely Fred Barge, Reggie Gold, and Sid Williams. What a class that must have been, can you imagine? Chuck, as history shows, also convinced Reggie Gold that Reggie should go to Toastmasters with Chuck so Reggie could learn how to speak publicly. Chuck is the founder of the prestigious group, the Knights of the Round Table, who helps great chiropractors become great leaders. Chuck brought practice management to the chiropractic profession. Jim Parker brought chiropractic seminars to the profession. Chuck took it to the next level with working with chiropractors one-on-one. -on -one. He also was the first person to take practice management to Europe. He co-wrote a book in 1966 that was published and used by Palmer on the management of acute traumatic cases. You might refer to it as personal injury now. Chuck personally began the personal injury movement in our profession, teaching chiropractors how to interact with the medical profession, the legal profession, etc. Chuck has appeared on state conventions over 32 different states and two Canadian provinces, has personally conducted over 1,000 seminars for chiropractors, has consulted over 5,000 chiropractors worldwide. His purpose is to serve as many chiropractors and helping them enable chiropractic practice to be brought to the maximum number of people throughout the world. Chuck's mission is to build the most successful, ethical, moral, and positive chiropractors that can possibly be produced, successful beyond their wildest dreams, so that every patient can be subluxation-free as possible and enjoy the freedom of being not only pain-free, but disease-free and reaching their maximum potential. Chuck recognizes as a principle of life the true rewards of success, happiness, and prosperity all stem from those who provide the greatest service. Not only service to themselves, not only service to their patients, but service to this profession. Gibson Management Consultants is based on this missionary responsibility of service. Excellence in service, the highest priority. Chuck is a motivating, philosophical, direct contributor to so many people, dedicated to the direct growth of chiropractors, a mentor on purpose, caring, sharing, truly one-of-a-kind human being. According to Chuck, one cannot outgive his profession or position in life. So not only do we have a missionary responsibility to become the best and the most successful chiropractors we can, but also to give of our best to our profession. As B.J. Palmer said, we never know how far-reaching something we could think, say, and do can affect the lives of millions of people tomorrow. It's better to light one candle than curse the dark, get the big idea, and all else follows. No truer words have ever been said, and Chuck Gibson personifies every one of those words. Bring up legend Chuck Gibson, Dr. Chuck Gibson. Good morning. Good morning. One more time. Good morning. good morning. Fantastic. I've got good news for you. Today is the first day of the rest of your life. So let's make this a great day. Let's make this a great seminar. And let's make this a great uh, a weekend, a great year, and more important, a great life. Now, I, I, uh, I, I'm here to talk about a genius. His name was James W. Parker. And I want to tell you the story of how I came to Parker. 
Well, I, I started my, in practice in October 1959, and uh, uh, I had met, uh, I had heard about this Parker guy. And so I figured that when I got enough money, maybe a year from now, from then I would go down and attend this, the Parker seminar, see what this is all about. Well, I met a guy by the name of David, and David had been in practice for a year. He was a little short guy, and he wouldn't look you in the face. But he wore, and he drove a, a Volkswagen be uh, Beetle. And, uh, and uh, he told me that he had made $25 profit the first year in practice, and therefore he thought he'd had a very good start. <laughs> well, I wasn't buying that. But then, uh, about six, uh, let's see, in January, about four months later, I was attending an upper cervical meeting in Salinas, California, and he drove up, not in a, not in a uh, Beetle, but in a brand new Lincoln Con Baby Blue Continental. And he jumped up, and he ran up, and he looked me right in the face, and he said, uh, hey, Chuck Gibson, how are you? I said, what is this guy smoking? <laughs> so anyway, he was on the program, and he, he had been the Parker. And he, he it had transformed his life. And he talked about loving service, my first technique, faith, confidence, and belief. And I thought, wow, this is fantastic. I cannot afford to wait a whole year to go to Parker. So the next seminar, which was April of 1960, I was here. And I brought three friends with me. And uh, in, in those days, it cost $220 to, uh, to, for tuition. Now, that it, it translates into $2,400 today's dollars. And so Jim had a, had a uh, um, um, pre-check program where you wrote out 12 checks. So I wrote out my 12 checks for $20 a month. And I had $1,000 in my bank account, which would be like 12000 today. And um, so anyway, uh, uh, I, I started the seminar, and, and it, was, it was transforming. Uh, he was brilliant. He was a genius. Uh, he, it, uh, he was enthusiastic, uh, and uh, he, he confirmed much of, some of what I already believed, and also, uh, he also taught me a lot which I did not know. And it was, it was absolutely, he was uh, insightful, it was motivational, and it was transforming, and I was transformed. So the first thing I did was I went out and got my, got my checks, and I tore them up, and I wrote up a check for $220 and uh, went back, and my practice just exploded. And I was so motivated by that that uh, I, I brought 13 new chiropractors down with me at the next seminar, which was the first one ever held in the Texas Hotel. And, uh, and, uh, uh, and uh, Ronald Pinnell, I told the story to Ronald Pinnell, and he took me to Jim. And I told Jim the story about, you know, uh, what had happened to me and uh, the 13 new brow beggars. He, uh, he got tears in his eyes. And uh, anyway, during the seminar, uh, every couple hours, he'd, he'd say, now that Charlie gets it. He, he, you know, he knows what he's doing, yada, yada, yada. He brought 13 new people. Now, he was a genius of marketing as well as everything else. And... Uh, one of, one of the people in the audience who was a classmate of mine said to me, one of these days you'll be up there speaking. And I said, oh no, I could never do that. Anyway, to make a long story short, in October, which is uh, six months later, they asked me to be on the program, and I was, and I, then I taught uh, every five seminars a year for the next 16 years. So to, to my knowledge, I'm the oldest li living team teacher at Parker, so those uh, that's worth uh, missing, I think. <laughs> my practice, within 13 months, my practice was 400 visits a week and ultimately 850 visits a week for the next 25 years. Now, the reason I tell you that is this, that some of you this weekend are going to be transformed and you're going to go back and you're going to do exactly what you heard and were told to do. And when you do, it's going to be transformational for you as well. Because it is important for every one of you to be very successful. I've had an enormous personal and professional success in my lifetime, and I think that's important. 
What I, but I believe, it's, I believe it's really important for you to have personal and professional success as well. Here's why, it's for, it's for, your, for the people in your community. Do you realize that every person who walks in your office, that you attract to your office, however you do it, may have a transformational health experience or more than even spiritual experience as well. And I believe that we have, we have responsibilities to reach out and touch every life uh, that we possibly can by giving chiropractic adjustments. The second thing is that, uh, that in order for a, a profession to be prosperous, uh, it, uh, to be successful, all of its members must be prosperous. So not only do you have a responsibility to your community, and not only do you have a responsibility to your, uh, to your families, but you also have a responsibility to your profession to be successful as well. Now, from 1960 to 2000, our, our, uh, our uh, profession experienced a tremendous growth. And much of that growth is attributable to Dr. Jim Parker, because Parker has, uh, uh, Parker, has showed us the way. You know, they say that a, that a great institution uh, uh, is the lengthening shadow of a great man. And I believe that to be true. I know that the Parker Seminars, PCRF, and Parker uh, College are great institutions. And they're the lengthening shadow of, of a man with a vision and the ability to carry it through. And so we're here to not only to talk about the genius, but also uh, to honor this great man. And you know, uh, I owe much of my success to Dr. Jim Parker. We, were, we became very close personal friends and spent a lot of time together. And uh, Sir Isaac Newton said that, uh, he, uh, that we stand on the shoulders of the people that came before us. And uh, uh, Newton gave his credit to much of his success to Copernicus, who lived two, 200 years before him. And I, we stand on Jim Parker's shoulders because, and, and we owe, we owe it to ourselves and to our profession uh, to be the best that we can be and do the most that we can do. So I wanna thank each and every one of you. God bless you, God bless your families, and God bless chiropractic. Hi, I'm Dr. Jack Donovan. I'm a chiropractor for 65 years. I'm on, here at a meeting of the Board of Trustees of Parker University. I'm qualified to talk about Chuck Gibson because he's been a friend of mine for 40 years. And I appreciate his friendship so much, but the most important time of our friendship was when he asked me to join the chiropractic Knights of the Round Table. I knew nothing about the Round Table, knew nothing about the quality of people in, involved, but I readily joined because of Chuck's insistence. One of the best experiences I've ever had in my life made me love and respect Chuck so much more than I always did. He's a great friend, a great chiropractor. He loves chiropractic, and that's why I love Chuck Gibson. He could be your friend and will be your friend forever. Hi, my name is Jay Morgan, and I'm a chiropractor from Austin, Texas. I want to talk uh, on a personal level to you, Chuck. Um, I met you in uh, December of 1984. I was a college uh, chiropractic student at Palmer, uh, completely broke. I had flunked my national boards for the second time, didn't have a diploma, didn't have a license. And just uh, by good fortune, one of my instructors encouraged me to come down to the Blackhawk Hotel in Davenport and listen to you. And I recall it like it was yesterday. I was 26 years old and I was sitting on the front row and I knew within 10 minutes of hearing you where my future was. And uh, Chuck, uh, I joined your program, but more so than that, I, I found uh, my soulmate uh, for life. And Chuck, we had a tremendous practice in Austin, Texas, all attributed to you. More success, more financial gain, more happiness than I could ever imagine in my entire life. And uh, you showed me what chiropractic was. You showed me what life was. And uh, our friendship grew from there, and I became vice president of Gibson Management with you, and Chuck, you and I traveled around the world for 23 years, mentoring uh, uh, 10,000 chiropractors. And Chuck, I just have to tell you, I've grown to love you more than my own father.
more than my own father. I can never repay you for all you've done. And I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for everything you've done for myself, but more so the things you've done for the chiropractic profession. Chuck, God bless you, and I love you.